We're now joined by John Klingberg. If you have a question, please use the raise your hand function. Our first question is from Mike Heike. Mike? Hey, John. I know it's frustrating for everyone. Is there anything you guys can put your finger on, or is it something different every game? Um, I mean, I think uh, obviously the, the special teams uh, needs to get better. Uh, obviously, I'm on the power play, and uh, they done a good job, Carolina, in those four games we play them, and um, we got to find a way to uh, to get momentum or score uh, against them. And then uh, penalty kill obviously probably wants to to get a few goals back as well. So that's a part of it. That's a big part of hockey nowadays, the special teams. But I mean, I think that we need to create and uh, spend more time in, in their zone five and five as well. Uh, that's how you. Um, that's how you draw penalties uh, and all that as well. So uh, I feel like we we should play a little bit more with the puck. Um, uh, so uh, I'll, I'll I'll think we're we're gonna watch video and we're gonna work work through it. Next, we'll go to Matt DeFranks. Matt. Hey, John. Uh, what changed late in the second period, uh, and how did that kind of change momentum for the game moving forward? Um, I mean, they scored, uh, they scored a goal and, uh, obviously right after we score a goal or, uh, give up a goal, you want to have a strong shift and, uh, I drew a penalty. Um, so that's what happened and they scored on that as well. Next we'll go to Saad Youssef. Saad? Hey, John, you talk about the things that you guys need to do to improve. Do you feel like it's it's there and you guys just need to take it, or do you feel like you need to create those chances? I think, yeah. I think it shows pretty good in the third period uh, that when we're creating and, and it's a little bit of urgency, it's there. And uh, that's when we uh, we had a strong third period. Obviously, they're probably on their heels a little bit. They want to defend the lead, but... If you look at it, we were just all over them in the third. So uh, that urgency we need to bring uh, through the entire game. We've been talking about this before. There's going to be momentum shifts within the game where they have a couple of strong shifts and we have to just hunk down in the, in the D zone. And that's something that we're good at. Uh, we're strong at that, but we need to, I think, yeah, we are creating, but a lot of our shots are a little bit more to the outside right now. So I think, when we have the puck and we're able to make a play, we we have to make a play as well. And that's something I think you, you saw in the third period. Uh, we were all over them. They were active. Uh, forwards are backing us up. And we had a lot of those on time. Next, we'll go to Mike Heike. Mike, go ahead. Uh, what was your view on the, the game tying goal? I mean, it looked like it could have been an empty netter. And I mean, it just swung the other way. And you guys took advantage. I mean, it's it's pretty clear to to the players on the ice what happened. Uh, Miro made a sick play. Uh, it's an empty netter. They have a two on one, and uh, I mean, he's he's urgent trying to get back and and, and uh, defend the net. But at the same time, they're trying to make a pass, and he knows all the way that uh, where the guy is behind him. So he he swings his stick in the lane, and that's something that. Only Miro is doing. Uh, I say he's really good with a stick. So then we're able to go the other way, and it's just an, I mean, unreal shot by Taz as well. All right. Thanks so much, John.